What? Already? Here's a look. Wow. in a chip. Some heat action. How do I do it? Let's see. I saw it earlier. Figure this out. Uh. How did you heat actions on rush mode? Is there a side quest over here? Hey, Bone. How are you doing? I actually am kind of lost, but let me finish this side quest and then you can tell me. Go to bed. No. Do I know you? Ah! Uh. Oh. <laughs> Bullseye. Play darts. Two eyes and yet one. It's a big handicap. I doubt it. I doubt it. That is one eye. <laughs> Perfect. Oh boy. I didn't really play darts in Yakuza 0. I mean, I played it once, but that's it. Oh, 
Nice. It's not bad, 66. Betterness. <laughs> ah, what an idiot. <laughs> ah. <laughs> Wait, isn't it less is better? Nice tone. I messed up. <laughs> oh, great. <laughs> Whatever, I don't care. <laughs> oh, still good. Still good. Get it. Is that a side quest? It can't be a side quest. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> He's still here. I'm still have a dark battle with you. Get out of here. I don't want to play Darts Eater. Looking for the side quest. Oh, it's this dude. Suspicious man. Mm -hmm. Doesn't look very suspicious. Oh. Very suspicious. <laughs> so, what do you want? <laughs> Been asking everyone who comes through this place. Got a small favor to ask. <sighs> it's always a scam. 2,000 yen mm. bill. That is a little bit lame. Ah. Uh. Mm. 
情。It's time to collect stamps. Press your right. There was someone helping me. I'm sure to get it faster. For every 2,000 yen bill you bring me, I'll pay you 20,000 yen. Dude, where were you a couple of days ago when I needed money? 2,000 yen becomes 20,000. Can't argue with that. <laughs> Kojima, the secret hobby uh. is collecting bills over the, the, over the world. Awesome. There's no one over here. Alright, so what's the... <coughs> what's the tip? Rising. We gotta find out which gang took Haruka. I pretty much beat everyone up, but they're not saying a single thing. <coughs> Sorry, man. Uh. Yeah, no worries. He pickpocketed me, that's what happened. I bet you pickpocketed me. Oh. Of course. Oh, fifty thousand yen so That's fine. Good. <laughs> Wearing glasses, gray suit, had a beige coat. That's over here. Glasses, gray suit, beige coat. That's this girl here. Yellow and black. Golden black is his outfit. <laughs> Officer. All right then. So blue team. Talk to them. Mm. I'm gonna go find this dude first. The pickpocketer. Glasses. Gray suit. Oh, Majima. Yo, Kirita. Yo. Where 
are you gonna do? Okay, fuck this. Hey, jeez. How are you doing? <laughs> Let's heal ourselves. And then uh, unlock that one ability we've been waiting on. There we go. Beast mode, heat mode only. Dislocate both of the enemy's shoulders, bash their face in, and throw them. Anyway, so we're back to searching the pickpocket, dude. Hmm. Oh, I saw. Oi, I'm back. Time of destruction. I did, and then I realized. Oh wait, I actually want to get this. I'm taking a sense of torment. Torment. To be in this position. How do I use this? Let's see. Hold and then press when taking damage. Ah, oh, okay. Whoops! Too powerful. So she not the other. Found them. Hmm. I need to find a pickpocket dude though. Before I do anything else. So it's from here to here to the end of that. Alright, let me make sure he's not hiding somewhere over here. Alright. What? 
my face really pisses you off, you wanna punch me? <laughs> something that you say on a day to day basis? There we go! Oh my god! Jesus! What? Why are you here? some heat, so I'll just throw you constantly for a second. Oh man, really? Let's look at your shoulders. Is that pop XXX? Can't go in. Hey, coffee. How you doing? Has been seeing any other trip bills? That was pretty fun. I enjoy the weather so much. Oh my god. Uh, yeah, these attack, shattering their fist and process. Like 65 to 70 degrees throughout the whole day. Felt amazing. We went to Dunabar to eat? This? It was cool. It was really cool. I mean, it was cool for me. Uh, but we went to Dunbar for um, breakfast. Because my friend recommended there when he went to Comic Con. And went back to the hotel because we were still. Surprisingly, we were still just tired. Because the night before, we went to the airport right after work, so. I was pretty much awake on Friday to do stuff, run errands, work, and then we went to the airport. So by the time we got there on Friday night, say San Diego to a hotel, we were just tired. We we're like, uh, we'll just order like room service. <laughs> we neither of us want to go out. And then. And then the Saturday morning we went to Dunn Bar, like I said. Went back to the hotel, took a little nap. Then we went to friend's wedding, which is up north for like 20 minutes from downtown. And it was nice. It was it was the first grown up thing that we have all all of us, all of my friends have ever did together. And the grown up thing is it's the grown up thing is Taking a trip to go to a friend's wedding, <laughs> and and that just dawned on us on that day. We're like, wow, we're we're adults now. And then 
another streamer you watch for friends who live. Oh, okay. Let's see. Oh, man. I mean, not as great as the beast one where he just like, his shoulders, but that's. That was good. Is that a. Hit that. Aw, oh, man, I can't use that. It's already dead. Um, but yeah, uh, his. His wedding took place in a. Cathedral Catholic Church? High school? I mean, not church, a high school? And we're like, what? High school? That's unusual. But it's actually pretty fancy. The backyard. Cool. Bunch of guys over here wearing the same outfit. Can I just like use each and every single one of them? Yeah. Wow, out of the way. I mean, that's a possibility, but let me see this. I think that looks really <laughs> You have seen through my special stealth technique? They can't see the tree of the force ability? Okay, come back, Kojima. <laughs> oh, big mistake right there. The secret art of assassination, passed down to me by my father from the generation of Master of Thieves. Really? Hang on, hang on. This is, this is perfect. This is perfect. Wow, this guy actually has moves! Forget this looking at your shoulder. Right! Infinite throw! Ah! Drunken master bullshit! Get out of the way! That's it. There. Swift kick in the face. Scene. Wow, what happened to your attitude? Seventy thousand yen. Yeah, it was a San Diego. Not the Bay Area. Oh, why not? I need that experience anyways. What the hell? They just gave up on me. Eh, whatever.
Yo. Stop your roll. Damn it! Guys, ruined it. Yeah, he was originally from in Houston. Ah, uh, he's gone! Oh, he's just back there. Wait up! Man, all right, fine, fine, fine. That cheating. Shame on him for not knowing I can grab him like the fifth time. Well, then, then he's enjoying it, then. <laughs> if you run during Climax Emo, you won't recoil when attacked. I want to complete this whole tree before I go on to the other ones. Alright, um... We gotta find where the blue gangsters are. Oi. Oh. 
Yeah, it's fuck you guys. Okay. Huh? Where are you? So gonna kill you, Jim. Tomari does it. Ah, you doesn't That's what it is. Nothing. In the face. Surface and trust officer Benjamin. Man, oh, I learned something. You know, sir? The boss seems interested in playing around in game centers. Games are fine and all, but when he loses at anything, he lashes out pretty harshly. Okay. Arena. How's it going, Gabe? Customer's upset he doesn't want a UFO catch a prize. You want the white bun chan? Hey. So your little girl keeps asking for what that for that white bun chan. So she wants it more than anything in the whole world. <laughs> sure about that? You sure it's your daughter? She's not exactly my daughter per se, but she does like to call me daddy, so... Huh. <laughs> that face! 
Hang on. Hang on. Perfect. Perfect expression. So determined because your daughter begged for you. It's rather right she asked for something. Of course when she does, it's not money or something I can just buy. Men. Maybe a new emo? We shall see. Because I'll pay you loads of money for it. Hmm. Hmm. No, 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 that was a different person. That looked. That guy looked completely different. Sugar <laughs> Super attack. Alright, let's see this. Hmm. I feel like that's pretty accurate. Come on, come on, come on. Yes, 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 yes. Hooray! Easy. Was it that hard, the original minigame? No! What? That was good to him. <laughs> uh. Oh, he's gonna want more in the future, isn't he? Ten thousand yen for for one stuffed animal? Much cheaper than how much you spend and end up trying to get it yourself. If you stop being sucky at it. Alright, take my pictures. Probably take more now that, uh. Now that Haruku is in here. Oh my god, Mr. King. Absolutely. Let's <laughs> Gotta be this one. Hey, we take the the hearts one. Let's try it again. Hmm. 
Was it decoration for the Sega booth? Nice. Aww. All the poses that they get? I guess it is. It'd be funny. It's like if Majima just come by and just poses with me. Yeah, there's more. There's initial points. Oh, the guy's still here. What are you doing here? Whoa. Which one's this one you saw? This girl wants the entire Wu Fam series? Mm. Wu Papa, Wu Mama, and Little Wu Kun. She's saying she wants all three to decorate her room. Mm. The quote unquote daughter, right? <laughs> She wants to get what you want by whispering in your ears. <laughs> That's... Oh man, that never gets old. Stare disgust. Get it for him. Constipated. Sounds about right. Looks about right. And how are you doing, what you see? Oh my god, what if I knocked him down? <laughs> To the pit. They could get from this machine. This is uh, not gonna work. Is it? Oh, I think it's a monkey one. Yeah, it wow. Oh my god, this sucks! Oh my 
Ah, not far enough. Up. Oh, we'll this for sure. Just drop, just drop forward. Come on. Which is this one over here? These are it though. I'm not missing one more. Hmm. Don't think this is it. Let's get the last one. This isn't it. Yeah, this game takes place in 2005. Yeah, forget it. You're on your own, dude. Wow, you cannot say anything about feeling all rising. That goes to me. 2005. It's me shortly after graduating high school. <laughs> the series began in 1980, but this game specifically takes place in 2005. I want to say you are in your mid 20s or early 20s. Oh, yeah. Sure did, right? Bear hog.
I'm totally bleeding. Right. I feel like I'm bored. I was a little bit late. A little bit late, coffee. I'm magic pixel, <laughs> please. Why are you giving me the magic pixel on the Majima Steel? Yeah, so unfair. Exhaust all heat to prevent being knocked down for some time. Reckless assault unleashing after performing a backhand finishing blow, only usable in climax mode. Oh man, let's try this. This is beast mode. Alright, let's um let's turn this off for a second. Where is that thing? Um might be enough to give you a peace of mind, assuming that means I won't encounter that many enemies. So... Let's find... the gangsters that are in blue. That's not peace of mind, I'm still being... God damn it. Oh, task test. Silly, silly task test. <laughs> Alright, what's up? The boss is a real foul mood right now, so I wanted to warn you. Yeah, he stumbled on him. He might actually rush you with a baseball bat. Sounds like any other normal encounter. Well, when he gets in one of those moods, he usually heads to the batting cage center to blow off steam. Do I want to meet him? I mean. I don't have anywhere else to go. Sure, let's, let's just go. I never had task tests, I had toss tests. 
that's what we had. And then one year after I graduated, that's when they start implementing task task. Hang on a second. Nice. Dang. Ah. There we go. A lot of balls. More balls left. Why <laughs> do that? <laughs> pocket tissue. I don't want no pocket tissue. Get this out of my way. Oh, task test and toss test is a wholly different thing. So we gotta take SATs along with the task or toss test. Huh? Hmm? What? I didn't do anything! Uh. Yeah. You don't feel like fighting me. Ugh! <laughs> 
Taking all the beating. <laughs> See if we can kill him like that. Oh, okay, there he caught on. So my tactics. The scar, yes, please. Seems watching. I didn't realize that. That's what we're really meant. Mm -hmm. Pimp? Uh. since I looked at this tree. Let's see... Chokehold? One blue. Yeah! <laughs> 
Wait, where are you now? Where is he? What is this? Their devil. Bring some health. How are you doing, Ross? I did a lot of damage. You miss Majima popping out everywhere. And you also... 
Well, actually, that's about it. <laughs> you know, I was been trying to. F I was been doing like simple side quests, is trying to figure out what to do with the main story or where to go f for the main story. That's about it. You And how are you doing? Nowhere. You guys look to seven twenty. Oh, so about the ching ching ching. I no longer need that anymore because you know why. I found a place where I can just leave the controller on one position. No, let Q you just constantly run over and over and over again. And I just let it run for like two nights straight. And I got almost 20 million yen. So. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's right. I, <laughs> I showed it to you. Oh, then there you go. Listen. If the devs didn't want people to do that, then maybe they shouldn't have, you know. Should be more careful about that th kind of thing. Oh man. Yeah, yeah. Oh, whatever. What, Vlad? <laughs> Straight. What's this? Uh, you know what? I don't actually want to investigate. I'm go from here. Where did you get that thing too? I don't know. Can I go? Maybe I'm missing something. Maybe I need to go back to, to the beginning and find hints. <laughs> All right, fine. Back to these folks.
That's not fair. Okay, let's let me just stand still. Oh, before I do that, let me use all my points. I see. Same thing as that one, but this one's for beast mode. One is for rush. Okay. Okay. Well. Let's see what he has to say when I'm in item mode. That's it. Doesn't really help. Doesn't help at all. Let's go back to Purgatory. Maybe there's a clue that I missed over there. kind of streamer drag. I don't give a shout out to anyone. Not even to myself. <laughs> shout out to Drac. He's gonna stream Bloodborne. Is that, is that Drac though? It's not his username. Some other username. Friend account, that's probably why. Mm. Yeah, friend's account. 
Wow, look at you. I'm definitely getting some bad <laughs> point five out of you. Well do my own horn. Many. <laughs> You're just like a man with real presence. The nonchalant <laughs> Badass dads. I'm not a dad! <laughs> Is this where we find out that word? I'm a dad. Hang on. Okay. What exactly are you talking about? Well, I just think of you look like a cool old guy. So I'm asking. What the heck is this bad boy old guy stuff you keep asking? You're a poster boy of badass dads. You don't know what they are? Badass are so in right now. Uh. No, I... I never heard of them. Mm. See, what's the kind of man who becomes a... What? What are these slangs you guys... You're, God damn it. Bad and bad boy, short for badass dad. Middle-aged man who's dangerous yet dandy. Rugged but respectful. Simply put, a cool guy with a bit of bad boy streak. Oh, Delph. I just flew out on my- okay. Uh-huh, uh-huh. First, first time I heard of it, though. Hmm. <laughs> He's a Delph. They're appearing on TV shows, magazines, even movies. Old men who kick ass have gotten really popular recently. I never would have thought. <laughs> Me, a badass dad? Except if you're not dad. Okay, Drac. <laughs> Conduct the interview for the magazines, an article to seek out and determine who are the bad boys. Mm -hmm. Okay. There's an actual criteria? Mm. Yeah. We're doing the hottest dilfs I can find. <laughs> then deciding whether they're truly bad boy material. Some men are just trying to ride the bad boy gravy train because it's trendy now. But they're not real deal. I... Mm, this is stupid. I remember that bone. That was so silly. I am totally a DILF. Oh man. I'm in that age group already, so... I am totally Okay. Mm. A lot of men on, the, on these streets aren't real bad boys. They're just bad people. It's dangerous to talk to most of them. So I wandered into this party thinking it'll be safer, and I was hoping to find some more fatherly types here. Uh. You came to West Park thinking it'd be safe? This is, yeah, this is purgatory. Well, if I don't do something, the story's, the story I've been working on for months will fall through. Uh. Besides, if you turn out to be a true bad boy, you get a special prize. Ooh. All right, I'm in. Oh. <laughs> <sighs> <laughs> Oof. 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 Uh. For starters, can you tell me your age? Uh. Yeah, sure. 37. Pushing 40, huh? Can you tell me what your priorities are in life as a badass dad? Mm. How are the other guys answering? Mm. Let's see. 
Man, I interviewed earlier said he makes sure to wear sunglasses at all times. Even at night. Nanny. Sometimes at midnight. Sounds like an idiot. Did you not hear? Did you, did you, what about the song though? The song's awesome. Wear your sunglasses at night. <laughs> so I can, so I can. They're the number one must have accessory for bad boys. <laughs> <laughs> well, whatever. What's my number one party these days? My clothes, much more sun, nothing really. <laughs> yes, let's do that. Lately, I've had to prioritize Majima-san, though it's not really a choice. Uh, who's that? This guy who keeps trying to kill me. What? He's trying to kill you? Did you do something to his family or some other horrible thing like that? Yeah. Nope. It's not like that. Once upon a time, I got a little stubborn with him, and he kind of took a shine on me. <sighs> to me. Now when we fight... I can't afford to pull any punches. And he's everywhere. It's actually kind of annoying. What if this interviewer is actually Majima-san? Just rip off her mask. It's like, it's me! <laughs> yeah. But due to this and that, I haven't seen him for 10 years. Yet even after a decade, he never forget me. It's not half bad. <laughs> Can't tell if you guys are best friends or arch enemies. But it's a complicated relationship only men understands. I think it's lovely. Mm -hmm. Wow, don't put the word lovely in it. Hi. I mean, your answer doesn't really pertain to what a bad boy prioritize in the uh prioritize in his everyday life, but <laughs> next question. Uh. Oh my god. <laughs> that was much of a sun. Hold on here, dangling minute. Been listening to you kids talking about bad boys and whatnot. You want a real man? No one beats the boss. Bad boy boss men say. I'll go fetch him. Oh boy. He's gonna he's gonna interview that dude. Practically back me to it. So you're this boss that man was talking about. Uh. He's probably hiding under that pond over there. It's like a little straw to breathe out air. Uh -huh. So miss, do you want to ruin me too? Uh, that open roll of the set of tobacco. Sensing an aura of bad assery from you, just as strong as what? No, I'm more badass than him. Mm. Actually, maybe even badder, boy. Okay, lady, you gotta get your senses fixed. Nanny. <laughs> <laughs> you think? Mm. I don't really get it, but what if you sight it? You just call me the forest. I'm gonna continue my interview with the both of you. Uh. I mean, I can. It's possible, Drac. I'll get that wrong in a second. Let me ask both of you. Do you have an interesting bad boy story you can share? Many. Uh. Good. Something like heroic exploit? Hi. Yeah, you have something. Let's see. I was walking in town the other day when a young thug and a woman tried to bug me. Demanded my wallet and everything. Were they targeting you for being an older man? Uh. Yep. But unluckily for him, my job is eavesdropping and taking candid fit photos. So air his dirty laundry on the spot. Stuff like his purchase history of pornography, the identity of his favorite sex worker, and the most recent sex acts he enjoyed with his worker. Some real kinky shit. Then his little partner in crying got disgusted. She said, you sick bastard, I can't believe it. Then they started to argue, and I went along my merry way. Man. Like, 
guess. Eh, whatever. He's he's a dad, but that's whatever. <laughs> got your fists? I got my facts. To be fair, that girl was cheating on the thug with multiple guys. Wait, can we back this up? Candid photos, eavesdropping? That's your job? What exactly? Oh. Do you really want to know? I'm just gonna pretend I never heard of all that. Yeah, get ready to get it stalked by him. What about me? Uh. <laughs> uh, a bad boy story, let's see. <laughs> I beat a punks on a daily basis. <laughs> That's not really a bad boy right there. That sounds like... That sounds awful. I was on a rampage. Rampage at a funeral. Not long ago, I went on a rampage at my Xbox funeral. Huh? I was accused of shooting someone and got surrounded by men who were ordered to kill me. And someone I trusted told me to escape, so I had no choice. I Sorry to butt in, but was this really a funeral service? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was. What the hell, man? You believe his story is dropping, but you won't believe in mine? Mm -hmm. I get that it was, it was a bizarre situation, but going wild at a funeral isn't being badass. Just being disrespectful. Look, lady, if you were in my position... <sighs> then again, based on what you already told me, you're either senseless or outright insane? What happened to the bad boy look? He's <sighs> just written like a book. Anyways, no matter what the reason, don't go rampaging at funeral service anymore, or anymore for that matter. Uh. Yeah. God. This girl just shut me down. <laughs> Punch back. Next mm -hmm. question is... Um... Am I gonna have to compete with them, him also? Mm -hmm. Oh my god. Dates. <laughs> Nothing, please go away. Don't ruin this for me. Don't ruin this for me. Huh? I know. Are you finna kill yourself? Uh. Yeah, he's a cop. Whoop. <laughs> so you're finding a badass dance of Kuncho. Right? <laughs> Older men are in the right now. Are in right now. Tough guys with a heart of gold like Hugh San and a support. Okay. <laughs> Everyone from teeny boppers to grandmothers are going wild, wild. Excuse me for silver foxes on the silver screen. Now that you mention it, Zaya was telling me just the other day that all the girls are into older guys. Oh, that's right. Does that mean Zaya's into guys like Hugh and Forrest? Mm. Yeah. I think that's exactly what she said. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> He's not liking any of it. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Look. I don't care if you hate a date. Girls want us older guys. And there's nothing you can do about it. Your daughters. Your wives. Moms. There's no stopping. There's no stopping at all. I'm the very definition of a badass dad. You guys aren't bad at all. Excuse you? Nanny. You're the police officer. Sora. Here. Yeah. It is, but I'm enjoying it. Yeah. I'm a loose cannon caught Maverick of the police force. I'm always taking heat from the chief of defying orders. On top of that, I got drunk and failed to meet up with my daughter on the other day. That's your fault, not mine. Does that qualify you as being a bad boy? If that's the case, I forgot my friend's birthday one time. <laughs> yeah, then this checks out. I forgot my wife's anniversary. 
you three are trying to prove how much a bad boy you are, this is having the opposite effect. <laughs> oh my god, please let Maj <laughs> Majima come in. Setting up your daughter, forgetting your anniversary, that's more bad guy than badass. <laughs> What? <laughs> you should never forget a friend's birthday either. Oh. <laughs> True. <clears throat> I guess I'm a bad guy. Good. So who among us would make the best bad boy anyway? Wait, what do you ask? I think we need to decide who the best badass dad is. It's kind of important right now. More important than find his little girl. Sure, I'm in. <laughs> Bring it on. We battle for the title of Ultimate Bad Boy. But you can't just change my story. Don't be so tight. I think it makes more sense if you ask me. And it's much more interesting, don't you think? Hmm. You really think so? Well, I came here to interview men, not <laughs> to judge your egos. You can continue the interview by asking each of us a question. Three of us will answer the question, and he who gives the best answer will be more badass than Fred. Fine. Final question. <laughs> so really, I just have to do what I already planned, which was to ask you some questions and get the uh. answers. Afterwards, you can decide which of us is most worthy the title of Ultimate Bad Boy. <laughs> and the belt. Alright, I'm going to ask the one I've been keeping on the back burner for the end of my interview. What do you think is the most important thing to a bad boy? Mm. Most important thing to a bad boy. <laughs> Financial power. Financial power? You mean money? Uh. Bingo! It's human nature to gain more confidence as you acquire more capital. As self worth grows with net worth, it creates the image of respectable adults. Adult male. Dannyism? Is that how you pronounce it? Whatever. Having both make you the kind of man that girls want and boys want to be. Money leads to confidence, confidence makes you dandy, so dannyism, not just about clothes, it's the attitude of older and more refined gentlemen. A man with no money usually has no confidence. Just look at the homeless in purgatory. Sure, they're good guys, but badass dads? Not a single one of them. <laughs> and you got me. I make tons of money on the ground here. And sorry guys, but I'm confident my level of raw dandyism is just way too high for you two to even compete. <laughs> Whatever. Ugh. <laughs> it's true that financial power is important to a badass dad, but as far as the most important thing goes, close but no So what are you implying? The most important thing to a bad boy? That will be... to have a lovely family. Listen. What a true cool old guy needs is to is the heart to love his family, and family that loves him back. So he's guile. No matter how much money and confidence a man might have, it's all for nothing if there's no one to share with. Right, this is actually pretty long. Probably the longest side quest I have ever played in this game. <laughs> but I had longer in Yakuza 0. So a guy without a loving family is only half a man, compared to the real bad boy could be out of this league. In that respect, I got a wife and a daughter to protect. Nanny. I have a dog, a little girl, the lady at the bar tending, whatever. Whatever. <laughs> it's close enough for a family, right? You've never been married, and without domestic experience, Junior, it's too early to call yourself a badass dad. <laughs> Are there mixed Japanese people depicted in Yakuza? I... Uh, don't know. To be honest. Huh? There are tons of bachelors out there, charming of all kind of women. And they still got some real swagger to 
So I don't think badass that necessarily has to be married with children. HA! Take that. And you're talking like you are some kind of respectable family man. But until recently, you weren't all getting along with your wife or daughter at yeah. all. Well, uh, that was... Dang, that was a low blow. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like... Dude's in the lead. Uh. Yeah, the most important thing that boy is. Okay. <clears throat> Going to a tanning salon every day. Or having less common sense than normal. <laughs> what is these answers? No, three? I have no clue. Got one, one, three, two. One is still winning. Having less common sense than normal human being, normal men. Yeah, but two, one and two is still tied. Three most important thing is not knowing you're a badass. <sighs> Guys, okay, I'm gonna close my eyes, and I'm just gonna do this. Damn it! <laughs> Having less common sense than normal adults? Like being more unconventional? Uh. That's right. But going overboard is no good either. It's all about maintaining a balance. Mm. Interesting. Can you explain that? Hey, monkey. Let's see. It's common sense for a salaryman to wear a suit to work. We all know that. But. It would be weird if he came into the office wearing a Hawaiian shirt and shorts, right? No comments. Something wrong about that. That just sounds like an out of touch old cotter. Uh. Yeah, but if that man wore a suit with no tie and with his shirt not buttoned up on the way, now that's a bad boy. Walking the fine line between formal and casual makes you approachable while sacrificing the fragrance of danger that draws a woman to an older guy older guy in the first place. Ah, oh, that's good. A middle-aged burnout wearing a suit buttoned up all the way comes off as a rigid, and he doesn't even exist to a woman. It's just as bad as the opposite extreme. <laughs> wow, really? That's a good example? I want to know what number what he would say number one. It's common sense invented by society. Truth is, a carefree guy without money or family doesn't limit himself to social standards. That is a true bad boy. Ah, oh, we want her over. <laughs> Gulp. Ultimate bad boy is... Yay! <laughs> yep. We got proof right here, Drac. This girl here confirms it. <sighs> the reason is this. That cute answer was the coolest and most impressive. <laughs> and I actually have a special prize for you. Italian shoulder bag? It's pink! Eh, I guess I'll do a pink. Not a badass, I can wear pink. <laughs> Get wrecked, dudes. Badass dads, huh? <laughs> Don't cry in the corner, guys. Gloat over them. Hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so what do we have here? A <laughs> who ain't badass at all, apparently. <laughs> More like me. Maybe a woman would flock to you to tell you how cool you are too. <laughs> Jeez.
Yeah. Look, I was a pulling punches. 